Let's see what chai with jaggery, chai with desi khand and chai with honey does to my blood sugar levels. Send this to all the chai lovers as this will be a good one. When I had chai without sugar, it had given me a 3 mg spike. But when I added 1 teaspoon of white sugar, it gave me a 21 mg spike. Not good. So let's add 1 teaspoon of jaggery or gourd, which is an unrefined form of sugar with vitamin and minerals. It tasted about the same level of sweetness as white sugar, but it had an interesting character. I liked it. And it gave me a 16 mg spike. This is so good. Lovely result. So much better than white sugar. Next, I tried chai with 1 teaspoon of desi khand, which is also an unrefined form of sugar and it also contains a lot of vitamins and minerals and has a lower glycemic index than white sugar. This also had about the same level of sweetness as with white sugar and it was good. And this gave me a 13 mg spike. Wow, this is awesome. Even lower than tea with jaggery. Lastly, I added 1 teaspoon of honey to the chai. It also tasted good and it gave me a 18 mg spike. Higher than desi khand and jaggery but still lower than white sugar. It's great to see these unrefined sugars give lower glucose spikes than white sugar. Why did we start using processed sugar again? Ah, capitalism. I think if I'm going to have only one cup of chai a day, I would prefer to have it with jaggery or desi khand. But if having multiple cups a day, all the glucose spikes can add up. In that case, I would prefer to have chai without any sugar. Or maybe I can try some natural zero calorie sweeteners. Let's try that in the next video. What do you drink your 